ओम शांति वेलकम टू फर्स्ट ऑफ नवम्बर गॉडली ब्लेसिंग टू डाई अ लाइफ और टू बिकम अ लाइफ फ्रॉम डेथ इज वॉट वी हैव बीन लर्निंग एंड लिसनिंग टू इन डिफरेंट स्क्रिप्चर विद इट्स बाइबल होली बाइबल विद इट्स द कुरान विद इट्स इन सम अदर इंस्टीट्यूशनल बुक्स और सम अदर रिलीजियस बुक्स जर्नली वी हैव लर्न दैट गॉड हैज़ द पावर टू एक्चुअली मेक अ डेड पर्सन अ लाइफ राइट ना वॉट इज दिस डेथ ऑल अबाउट You see, a person might be having a lot of money. That means wealth. Might be having a lot of power. But if that person is still sad, still comparative, still unsatisfied, discontented, then we'll say he's walking like a dead millionaire. That means you have all things. You know, you're a billionaire. You're a millionaire, but you are like a dead person. You don't have any enthusiasm. You don't have any life within you. You're not excited about anything. And that's also known as death, right? And some people say it's better to die than to live like that. So now, when you become alive, that means you are full of zeal and enthusiasm. Your karmas are so good that you are pure and powerful, and you are full of happiness, and you are full of joy, and you are giving more things to the world, and that's where you feel alive, right? So, from body conscious, that means comparison, competition, and uh, comparing ourselves, that leads to body consciousness. We move to a soul consciousness. That means I am infinite. I am here on this earth to give, not to take, not to accumulate, but to Give, but to spread, and the more I spread, the more it comes to me back. Right? So God says, "May you die a living death." You're living, you're alive in your physical body, but death means what? Body consciousness of a comparison, competition, and physical self is dying. The knowledge of the physical self is dying. We are becoming more and more of the con of soul consciousness. That means the real we. So Father says, "May you die a living death and become great under the shower of the nectar of knowledge which God is God is imparting." That means He is helping us to move towards His His own form. That means God is bodiless; He doesn't have a physical body of His own, and He's always the highest, purest form of consciousness. And He's trying to make us that by showering us with that knowledge of how to think like Him. Imagine that you become infinite, right? You have, you feel that you are finite in this body, but when you think like him, when he imparts you the knowledge of how he thinks, how he perceives us and the world, drama, then we become infinite like him. So the father has showered the nectar of knowledge on you, children, and made you great from being like corpses. You were like dead people, right? Walking with so many tensions, so many worries. He lifted you off the burning pyre and made you die alive. Burning pyre of what? Burning pyre of unhappiness we were totally full of unhappiness full of worries he gave you the nectar of knowledge and made you immortal he gave us the nectar of knowledge of immortality the world is looking for immortality if you look at chinese movies they generally talk about the zen uh, philosophy and they talk about immortality right so here we are talking about soul if we consider ourselves to be a soul we are immortal if we consider ourselves to be a physical being we will fear death people say that god brings the dead back to life but they do not know how he does that now what is this death to a life even in quran it's mentioned that qabr dakhil that means those souls who are there in the coffins will be raised back to life coffins means you are living in your physical body and you're living without zeal and enthusiasm you are more like a dead person right you are already in your coffins you are not dead but you are dead alive So God says that he in in the end of times he's going to raise us from the coffins. That means he's going to raise us out from our kabra and from our coffins. That means he's going to raise us back into zeal, enthusiasm, into soul consciousness, into ruhu, or he's going to take us away from impurity and make us pure again. But people don't know that. How does he do that? You have the happiness that you. Who were previously dead like corpses because of your body consciousness? Now this is the word body consciousness. We have forgotten that we are actually who or souls who have come from up above. We think of ourselves as physical bodies, and we have differentiated ourselves on the basis of religions or the act which we have received from God on this earth. And when we are act conscious or when we are body conscious or role conscious, we are fighting with each other, and that's what makes us more and more. Cross in this physical world, we become more attached to the physical aspects of the life, of our survival, of our presence, of our, of our personality, of our, of our, in, of our insecurities, physically, and uh, what do people know us as? That means what's my real presence as, or what do people know me as? 
and when we get attached to those physical body conscious realities we forget about that god sent us down here with the purity with the very powerful sixth sense which is beyond this physical body and that's the root that's the soul that's the atma so god says that i infuse the knowledge of the soul within you in the end of days and i raise you from the dead how does he do that is what we learn in brahma kumaris we move away from body conscious and we move into soul consciousness so god says because of your body consciousness have now become great from that we move towards greatness and how do we do that is what we learn in brahma kumaris you most welcome to learn that art om shanti with this